I swear, the amount of times I've seen this one pathetic ad is absolutely unfathomable. Like, seriously, Mark, I don't need a new editing soft. Like, we're not even five seconds into the ad, and this guy sounds like the most arrogant person on the planet. Unlock your full creative potential. Go to fxhome.com now and download the only video editing software you'll ever need. Like, like this is a pretty big claim to make but intriguing. So, as you would expect, with absolutely low expectations thanks to ClipChamp, I went over to fx.com now to see if the software can fulfill in its promises. I will point out this, for some reason, the website's called fx.com or whatever it is, but the software it takes you to is HitFilm. Now, don't get me wrong, I've used HitFilm before, but that was back in the day where no one knew what this thing was. I didn't have too bad of a time with it or anything, so... I could at least expect it to be better than ClipChamp. Now, while we wait for this thing to download, let's set up some ground rules. For starters, I will be editing and making a video in HitFilm, but, but unlike the ClipChamp one, the video you're seeing now won't be edited in HitFilm. Because, oh my gosh, what I'm about to show you is psychological torture. And the video I'm making the editor will not be included in this one. So you'll have to wait for like a day. Now, as soon as you get into the thing itself, you get a very, uh, familiar interface. I don't know if it's purposely meant to look like Premiere Pro, but um, yeah, what would ignore that. Now, there's already a big change from, from when I last saw it. And if you look very closely, you can actually see, that's right, it's now dark mode. And let me just get this out of the way first. This felt like a big step up from ClipChamp. I'm not saying that because of the bajillion more effects that it has, or the fact that unlike the last one, this actually has a keyframing system. But no, I'm saying I can make 45 degree turns again. Let's go. Yeah, remember when I said the interface looked a lot like Premiere Pro? Well, it also feels very, very similar using it. So if you have any idea of what Premiere Pro feels like, just imagine that, but on an even tighter budget. This pretty much has everything you would expect. Green screen, color changes, decent timeline system, and even some stock stuff if you wanted to. But as you would expect, it's not a free video editing software without a premium feature. And of course, no, I didn't buy the premium feature. I don't have that kind of money, and I'm not pirating it. I don't want a virus. This premium feature is probably exactly like ClipChamps, where it takes every single good thing I talked about with this editor and completely flushes it down the drain. Except in this case, I prefer how HitFilm does it, because you can still use them. They don't restrict it completely. It's just if you do, they put the fattest watermark across your video. They still let you use basic effects and the little bit of intermediate stuff, but all the stock footage is behind it, bro. Also, there are a lot of little shortcuts that Adobe does that HitFilm just doesn't have. Like, for instance, if I have a new clip, I could just drop it into a brand new tray in Adobe, but with HitFilm, I have to right click on the tray and create a new tray. Hell, while we're on the topic of comparing the two, let's compare the keyframe systems, because they are very similar, except I totally prefer the way Adobe does it. In Adobe, the keyframing system is all the way up here here at your controls panel with a nice little tray to tell you where the, all the keyframes are. But HitFilm completely ditches the tray and puts all the keyframing options down here. That means if you wanted to navigate all your keyframes, that means you have to use this stupid slider! Also, for some reason when you're cutting and pasting keyframes, the sequence actually starts where the original clip was and not the new one. Also, remember when I was praising the rotate feature for supposedly being fixed? I never said it was fixed, it's still broken! Whenever you set a a keyframe to rotate, sometimes the whole image just goes in a big circle, and then you have to redo all the values. But let's go through some quick fire points. Teeing out certain green screen footages can be quite mediocre at times. In fact, you can't even choose the shade of green you want to key out, like, what does GREEN mean? You can't import folders full of stuff. Cause screw organization, I guess. There are nine tools right next to the timeline, but then there's five other ones that just decided to be special for no reason. Like, what's up with that? Speaking of text, this thing absolutely sucks. Like, it's barely usable, and you can't even change the font. As far as I know. It takes like 500 years to export anything, and as soon as your video excerpts like seven minutes, the software gets really laggy. Now, I know I've been sharing a lot of hate about this, but it's actually quite a decent 
couldn't find, considering that it's still free. Like, sure, I won't laugh at you if you have to use it, but there's just a few things here and there that I wish were added into it, since it really is an Adobe clone. In conclusion, it works. It's a bit choppy, but works. Could it possibly replace Adobe? Absolutely not. Adobe just has way much more stuff and is infinitely times more polished and cooler than HitFilm. But eh, uh, no one can keep up with Adobe's stupid price demands, so it's a good substitute. If you're in need of a quick free editing software without doing a yeehaw har piracy, this is a solid choice. I guess the one biggest thing that I'm mad about is, is that it's absolutely false advertising. This is not the only editing software that I need. Can I sue them now? Am I legally allowed to sue them for false advertising?